Can you believe it's almost Christmas time again? Yep, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. This year has flown by. Really flown by. Really, really flown by. And you know, whether you're a part-timer, a full-timer, or like us, a most-timer, everyone needs to spend at least one holiday in their RV. Yep, and we want to give you tips today on how to make your holiday in the RV a success. So we've got five tips today that will hopefully make your holidays in your RV a little bit easier to get through and a little more successful. Yep, and let's get started with number one. Number one is pretty obvious, but you've got to decide where you want to go. Do you want to go to a winter wonderland or somewhere warm like the beach? Mm -hmm. Or it's a great time to load up the RV and head to see family. Yeah, when we decided we were going to be gone a lot of the time in the RV, our kids put their foot down and said, you know, Mom, Nana, Papa, you got to be back here during the holidays. Like, they really had an all-out fit that we had to come back to our home base at least Thanksgiving and Christmas and be here for the holidays. Yep. Don't tell anybody, but I don't think they know how to cook the turkey yet. <laughs> And the great thing is we have three of the kids and six of the grandkids near our home base, so we get to see a lot of the, the families, so that's a great thing. It's a good time to catch up. Yes. Okay, number two, just because you're in an RV doesn't mean you can't decorate. You just got to kind of keep it on a little smaller scale. So you can't go all out and get a nine-foot Christmas tree when you have eight-foot Seven foot, eight foot ceilings. Seven foot, eight foot ceilings in your RV. Besides that, those things really spread out and take up a lot of room. And then you gotta figure out what to do with them when you move. So anyways, decorate still, but do it on a smaller scale. Maybe a tabletop tree, something that's much smaller. Also, pillows are a good thing to like brighten the place up and put a little holiday cheer in there. And a good thing to remember is instead of getting new pillows, get some pillow covers. You can take pillow covers and put your regular RV pillows in it. That way you don't have to find a place to store them while you've got your Christmas pillows out. And then just take them back off when you're done. And some people get a wall tree that hugs nice close to the, to the, to the wall so it doesn't take up much space at all. It's according to what, how big your RV is. You know, some people in the class A might be able to put more up than someone in a class C or a class A. A wreath might be a good idea. And then lights, RVers love their lights, their party lights for the outside. Just change those out for a little holiday cheer light. And a pro tip is don't forget those command strips. They will really help put them up and taking those lights down. Yeah, don't put holes in your wall. That's never a good idea. Anything you've got to put up, get command strips and do it with that. Right. Number three, what about the meal? Let's talk about cooking in the RV. One of the things you need to remember when you're cooking in the RV, like if you're doing a bigger meal, it's really, really important to plan in advance. Because it's real hard to get a turkey in an RV oven about this big. Yeah. So a good thing might be when you're planning in advance, cook everything ahead of time that you can. Um, with the turkey, I would never buy a whole turkey to cook in my RV. Get a turkey breast and throw it in a crock pot. It is really, really good and juicy. You just started early this morning. And I'll tell you something that I do that Danny doesn't know about. When you're cooking your turkey breast in the crock pot, get you a little packet of Hidden Valley Ranch seasoning and sprinkle it right over that turkey breast. It makes it really good and gives it a super nice flavor. Cooking with Lynn, wow. Yeah, cooking with Lynn. <laughs> Also, don't be afraid to try something different. We had lasagna one year for Christmas. Yeah, everybody was going to see different family members and, it, and sometimes you get tired of the same old, same old. So, something different. Yeah, and lasagna would be much easier. And I have a great crock pot lasagna recipe too. Yep. Number four, make some new holiday traditions and keep some old ones alive. Some things you can do is go caroling in the RV park. That sounds like a lot of fun to me. We had actually just 
have gone caroling with a group of friends and some have never done it, it's just a blast to go out Yeah, there. it's amazing to us, the people in today's time who have never done Christmas caroling. They are so missing out. And the people you're singing to, they as long as I get it. a little help, they love it. <laughs> if not. You well. did pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> you did pretty good. <laughs> so another thing you can do is while at a campground, is if you're with a group of friends or maybe you're making new friends. Mm -hmm. What about Dirty Santa or White Christmas as some call it? Where you exchange gifts and you play games and see who's going to end up with what and who's going to steal what gifts. So yeah, that is fun. always so much fun to steal everybody's gifts. Yeah, before it gets frozen out where you can't yeah. steal anymore. Yeah, sometimes they get frozen and then you lose out. And speaking of new friends. Yeah. If you're away from your family, if you've chosen the route of being at a campground somewhere warm and or cold or wherever, and you're away and you, your family's nowhere near, invite some of your fellow campers over and, you know, meet around the campfire. Let everybody bring a covered dish. They're like you. They're away from their family. Yeah. No better time to get to know your neighbors. So whether it's Thanksgiving or Christmas like we're talking about or Easter. one of the other holidays, mm -hmm. when they're away from their family, it's great to be able to make new friends and just fellowship with one another yeah and what about you you could watch a Christmas movie that's always a great tradition my mom watches a Christmas story every year 24 hours loop so yeah it's a marathon a marathon and she thinks I look a little bit like Ralphie when I had my glasses when I was a kid and uh, so every year she gets me a Christmas story gift and I'm just hoping I'll never open up the pink bunny rabbit pajamas that's yeah, not a hint, that mom. Be cool. That's that not a hint, mom. That would be so cool if you, as long as she made you put them on. <laughs> it would be great. No. If he does, I'll take a picture. If he gets those this year, I'll take a picture and throw it up on our Facebook or our Instagram page. So watch for that. <laughs> uh, no. If you're in the campground and you've got friends and stuff around you, or maybe you're close enough that your family has come in and you're the one cooking and getting the dinner together. See about going to the clubhouse in the campground. Most of them have some sort of clubhouse that you can go and hang out at. And you might be able to have your meal there or at least go there to play games if the weather's bad or something. Yeah, <clears throat> I would try to reserve that early because there's probably a lot of people that are going to do that. Yeah. Number five, check out the Christmas festivities in a nearby town where you're located at. Right, whether it's going out to a Christmas parade, mm -hmm. or church service, or maybe it's a Christmas nativity scene. Yeah, a lot of churches have those, and a lot, some of the local towns will have uh, Christmas craft bazaars, right? or craft fairs, I guess they're called now. Right, and you can go, drive through a neighborhood that might mm -hmm. be decorated, or a lot of places have the drive-through where you pay a, a small donation or a f small fee and, and just drive through mm -hmm. Christmas light. We just did that the other day. Yeah, yeah, two nights ago this week. Also, they might have a tree lighting ceremony in the town that's closest to you. If you just, you know, Google online your town and the town, the uh, city website, and they'll tell you everything that's going on. A lot of those will have a Christmas uh, activity such as Christmas lights. So that's another thing. Speaking of Googling something, that's a pro tip. If you're ever in a city, you can uh, Google top Christmas lights in, in my area. And there is a, a, a page that will pop up and tell you the best Christmas lights that's in your in your city. And it's just different neighborhoods that might have de decorations yeah. going Individuals on. Individuals who have decorated their homes. And it's really fun. We've done this with our grandkids before. Loaded up in the minivan and just taken off and gone around and checked off the list and seen all the lights. And they really, really enjoyed it. So, and last but not least, this is just a little tip for you. When you are finished and the holiday season is over, whether it's Christmas or Thanksgiving or, you know, Easter, whatever, instead of storing those decorations, because you're not going to have many of them anyway. Especially if you're full-time. If you're full-time and you don't have space, space is a commodity, you know, instead of storing everything, Donate it somewhere. Yeah, it might be something you can do that way you can have something fresh each year. Yeah, but if, if it's not something that's sentimental to you, don't donate your sentimental. Yeah, now if you got a place to store them, it might be easier and cheaper to do that. So, mm -hmm. but that's a good tip that uh, don't feel like you got to keep something 365 days just for a few weeks of decorations. 
So we hope this helps to make your holiday a little less stressful. We know how stressful holidays are. We get stressed out ourselves sometimes. Yeah, because whether you're spending time with family, new friends or old friends, holidays can be a, just a special time and we just want to help with these tips. God bless and many safe travels and a very Merry Christmas to each and every one. Yep, and a Happy New Year and go RV America!